Good morning, teacher friends. It's me, Teacher Danny, and my cat is on my lap. Typical. Um, so I wanted to come and tell you what my old school schedule looks like this week and just do like a weekly check in. I thought that would just be something some people might be interested in um, and share any tips that I have with you. So I don't have a lot of tips this week besides don't get hit by a hurricane that knocks out your power for two days because on Thursday and Friday of last week, I had no power. So I had to cancel a full schedule of out school classes on Friday. Um, it's better than VIP kid because I don't have to go through the process of proving that my power was out. Um, but I did send messages to the parents and cancel the classes. And I noticed that um, one of my kids was signed up for one of my classes and then I got a $10, you know, gift from out school saying we're sorry your class was canceled so i'm not sure if they're giving that to every student they must be when a teacher cancels a class close to the time um so that was strange um but i get to use that for my kids and hopefully that'll help the parents feel better about me canceling on them um, but they have to understand i mean it's a natural disaster so I'm just ready for a week that goes smoothly. So this week we have our floors being repaired because our air conditioner was leaking. Um, and so yesterday there was someone here banging on the floors while I was teaching classes. Um, I just told my students and I tried to mute my mic whenever it was too loud and I just said, this is what's going on with me. I didn't want to cancel class. It wasn't too bad. Um, you know, life happens. And as long as you're making your best effort, I think it's gonna be okay. So um, today I just got done teaching Hawaiian celebrations, which is a class that I created for my Hawaiian summer camp. It talks about all the celebrations in Hawaii, like the Luau and um, the Merry Monarch Hula Festival and other things. And then we dance hula at the end. And if you know, I've, I never danced hula growing up in Hawaii because I was white and most people who did it were Hawaiian. So I just kind of stayed out of that whole thing. So anyways, it was really fun. It's really fun to dance hula. I don't know about 630 in the morning, but it's really a good way to start my day. So my students that took that class are in Hong Kong. And I didn't know they don't actually speak Mandarin in Hong Kong. They're speaking, oh, I can't remember what she said. Um, anyway, it's crazy, right? So anyways, that's how my day started. I have two VIP kid classes today and I'll go ahead and show you my schedule really quick. Um, so you can see. All right. So this is what my out school schedule looks like this week. And I'm back with VIP kid two classes a day. So um, yesterday I had first grade math that went really good. And I've actually created um, a semester course for first grade math that is four weeks long, two times a week. And I'm hoping to get some signups for that. Um, I have PE this week uh, five times, so here at 11, and then I put some in the afternoon because kids are back to school maybe and they can't do it in the middle of the day. Even if they're doing online school, my kids have online school throughout the day, so kind of having to adjust my schedule a little bit. Um, and then let's see, Aiden had Spanish yesterday with teacher Evelyn, which was great. And I'll put the link for her classes below. Love taking Spanish with teacher Evelyn. And I have another Hawaiian celebrations class on Wednesday. That's going to be fun. I have Hawaiian language elementary on Thursday and um, another first grade math. And then I have private math tutoring, which I actually have private math tutoring today at nine. Um, um, let me type that in there so I don't forget. Okay, it's from 9 to 9.30. So I did create that um, by request. And so that's great. So any questions you guys have about scheduling, about any of this stuff, just feel free to put it below. Tell me what you're doing with your schedule. Leave me a comment, guys. It's my favorite. So there is that. So I noticed a friend of mine said that they've heard a lot about low bookings at out school right now. I think it's just a transition time for everybody. America is going back to school. China is going back to school. And, you know, it's just kind of that time. So don't worry. 
just like VIP kid, right? We just have to roll with it. Um, don't worry that there's too many teachers at OutSchool. Please don't worry about that. You are unique and your classes are special because they're from you. So don't get discouraged. And if you haven't applied yet, don't get discouraged. You know, you have something to offer and yeah, that's it. I just, I wouldn't get discouraged. And I'm saying that because if it was me, I might get discouraged. So anyway, all right, I got class in 10 minutes. So thank you so much for listening and I will check in with you guys next week. All right, bye.